Hello everyone. In this video, we will be solving the first three questions of exercise 3.1 of the NCRT 12 standard math textbook. So let's start solving. In the first question, we are given a matrix and we have to find the order of the matrix, the number of elements in it and there are a few matrix elements they have given and we have to find their values. So let's start. The first part of the question is to find the order of the matrix. So let's count the number of rows and columns. There are three rows and there are four columns. So the answer is three by four, where three is M and four is N. So this answers the first part. The second part of the question is to find the number of elements in the matrix. We already know what is the formula for that. Number of elements in A is equal to M into N or M multiplied by N where M is the number of rows and N is the number of columns. So that is equal to 3 multiplied by 4 which is 12. So there are 12 elements in matrix A. The third part is they are asking us to write the values of certain matrix elements. They are A13, A21, A33, A24 and A23. So I'll just write that down a little bit. So I think this is better. Let's start A13. That is the first row and the third column. So this is, here is my first row and here is my third column. So this is the element. So it is 19. Okay. So 1 is the row number, 3 is the column number. The next one is A21. So this is the second row. So the second row here and the first column here. So this is going to be 35. So A21 is 35. A33. So the third row and the third column. Third row and third column. So the number is minus 5. So A33 is minus 5. Then you have A24. So that is the second row and the fourth column. Second row, fourth column. So 12 is my number. A24 is 12. A23. So the second row and the third column. So this is my number 5 by 2. So this answers all the three parts of the question. The next question is that a matrix has 24 elements. And we have to find out all the possible orders for the matrix. Now, which formula will help us? Well, this is the formula that we are going to use. The total number of elements in a matrix is nothing but the product of the number of rows and the number of columns in the matrix. We have already come across this formula in the beginning of the chapter. So, for this matrix, there are 24 elements. And that will be nothing but the product of the number of rows and the number of columns. Now see there are two unknowns and we have only one equation. So we can only find out the possible orders. We can find out all the possible orders. Let's see how. Now see if the product of two numbers is going to be 24. How do I find out what these numbers are? It's very simple. You just have to find out the factors of this number that is 24. So, what multiplied by what number will give me 24? It has to be one of the factors, right? So, if I take 24, what are the factors of 24? Well, the first two factors are very easy. 1 and the number itself, right? Then maybe 2. Yes, it will come in 3 stable. It will come in 4 stable. It will come in 6, 8 and 12. It will come in all these tables. So, these are all factors of 24. But we are interested in those numbers which when multiplied will give me 24. Now 1 and 2 if I multiply I am definitely not going to get 24 so I won't take this combination. So something like 
so I might take 1 when multiplied by 24 yes this gives me the answer as 24 similarly let me take 2 with 12 will give me 24 3 with 8 will give me 24 4 multiplied by 6 is 24 it doesn't come in 5's table 6 again multiplied by 4 is 24 in 7 24 doesn't come 8 multiplied by 3 is 24 12 multiplied by 2 is 24 and last but not the least 24 multiplied by 1 is 24 so just see there are so many combinations where we are having two numbers and we get the product as 24 so now let's proceed. so the possible orders of this matrix which has 24 elements are 1 by 24 2 by 12 3 by 8 4 by 6 6 by 4 8 by 3 12 by 2 and 24 by 1 so this will be the answer for the first part now let's go to the second part of the question so the second part of the question is that if my matrix has 13 elements then what are the possible orders for the matrix we are going to use the same method for solving this part also so the formula is that total number of elements in a matrix is nothing but the product of the number of rows and the number of columns so I'll have 13 which is equal to n by n so the next step is to find out the factors of 13 now the factors of 13 are 1 and you guessed it right 13 because 13 is a prime number it has only two factors 1 and the number itself so let's write all the possible combinations uh, for this equation that is I need to get the answer is 13 and I have to multiply the numbers so as you might have guessed by now there are only two possible combination one is 1 multiplied by 13 will give me 13 the other is 13 multiplied by 1 will give me 13 okay so these are the only two possible combinations so these are also the only possible orders for this matrix because it has 13 elements see there is no other way you can distribute the elements other than having one row and 13 columns and 13 rows and one column so let's write the final answer so for a matrix with 13 elements the possible orders are 1 by 13 and 13 by 1 so it's just an inference that for any prime number if I take say 17 or I will take 5 3 7 any prime number you take and if my max has a prime number as the number of elements I will always get only two possible orders one is so suppose I am taking 23 as the number of elements then what are the possible orders I have so suppose I have 23 elements then I am going to have only two possible orders one is 1 by 23 the other is 23 by 1 so for every prime number you don't even have to think too much just write these two possibilities as the answer the question says that a matrix has 18 elements and again we have to find all the possible orders for this matrix so we'll follow the same formula that is the total number of elements the total number of elements in the matrix is equal to the product of the number of rows and the number of columns so what are the total number of elements it's 18 that is equal to m multiplied by n so once again we have to find all the factors of 18 what are the factors of 18 uh, 1 2 3 it won't go in 4 or 5 6 will be there 7 won't be there 8 no 9 and I think the last will be 18 now these are all the factors of 18 now let's write down all those factors whose product will give us 18 now so the first one would be 1 by 8 1 multiplied by 18 will give us 18 2 by, multiplied by 9 the next will be 3 and 6 then you will have 9 and 2 again did I miss something? Yes, I did. 
6 multiplied by 3 is also there and finally 18 multiplied by 1. Now these are all the possible combinations. So and these are also exactly the possible orders for the matrix with 18 elements. So let's write the answer. So, all the possible orders for matrix with 18 elements are going to be 1 by 18, 2 by 9, 3 by 6, 6 by 3, 9 by 2 and 18 by 1. So these are all the possible orders. That means what you will have a matrix with 2 rows, 9 columns or you can have a matrix with 18 rows and 1 column. Then you will have 18 elements in the matrix. Now the second part of the question is that what if the matrix has 5 elements? So how do we do that? Now this is also very similar to the last question. So if I have 5 elements, again we have to use the formula. So let's do that. The formula says that total number of elements in the matrix is nothing but the product of the number of rows and the number of columns. So 5 is going to be m multiplied by n which means again we have to find the factors of 5. That's right. So what are the factors of 5? The factors of 5 are going to be, you guessed it right, it's a prime number so you're going to have only two factors that is 1 and the number itself. These are the two factors and what are going to be the combinations which will give us the product as 5? There are going to be only two combinations. One is that 1 multiplied by 5, the other is 5 multiplied by 1. These are the only two possibilities. Whatever prime number you take, you are going to end up with this same answer. So what are the possible orders? Let's write it down. So the possible orders for matrix with 5 elements are 1 by 5 and 5 by 1. That is 1 row and 5 columns. You can have either that or you can have 5 rows and 1 column. There is no other combination possible for 5 elements. Here we end this video where we solve the first three questions. I will be solving the remaining questions in the upcoming videos. So please be sure to check them out. Till then take care.